we try to minimize the amount of time that we're close to the bear so that we chase him as little as possible. So we fly in quickly, try to put a dart in a muscle. You need a muscle for the drugs to get absorbed. So the drugs work on the brain and, and uh, put you to, to sleep. So the bear is under anesthesia. Veterinarian Rolf Arn Olberg is part of a team of researchers on a first-of-its-kind mission in the Norwegian archipelago of Svalbard. Halfway between mainland Norway and the North Pole, scientists are looking at the impact of pollutants on the region's polar bears. Super nice, man. The researchers from the Norwegian Polar Institute collect thin strips of fatty tissue and draw blood samples from the bears. Each sample provides an insight into the health of the polar bear. Analysis of the fatty samples showed that PFAS, synthetic chemicals which linger in the environment for decades, were the main pollutants present. In humans, chronic exposure to even low levels of the forever chemicals is linked to liver damage, several kinds of cancers, and other serious health issues. These pollutants, so they accumulate into animals over their lifetime. So the species that are on the top of the food web like, uh, like polar bears, which live over a long time. So they have the highest levels of pollutants of the ecosystem. The Arctic region is warming at four times the global average, but scientists found no direct link between sea ice loss and higher concentrations of pollutants in Svalbard's bears. Despite years of exposure to PFAS, the team says Svalbard's bear population showed no signs of emaciation or ill health. So his teeth are really good. It's quite impressive, actually. What we do see, for example, from blood samples, fat samples, or, or hair samples, is that the diet change, and it's changed quite significantly. And it's very logical. They, they use much more time on land. From those samples, you can see they eat more terrestrial food, land-based food, rather than seals and things like that. They still hunt seals, but they also take reindeer, eggs, they even eat grass and things like that, although that has no, no energy for them. Scientists estimate that there are around 300 polar bears in Svalbard, and roughly 2,000 in the broader region. For the moment, in Svalbard, the population of the ne diminue pas. On ne voit pas de changement évident dû au changement climatique. La population est plutôt stable, voire en très légère augmentation, ce qui ne veut pas dire que dans le futur, on ne va pas avoir des influences du changement climatique sur ces populations. While Svalbard's polar bears seem to be holding on for now, reduced prey access and longer ice-free seasons has caused a decline in polar bear populations in other parts of the region.